At least three people have now died after violence aimed at immigrant trans spaza shops erupted in Soweto yesterday, with shop owners rushing to police stations for protection and later being evacuated from the troubled areas. Police confirmed on Thursday morning that another victim passed away in hospital overnight. At least 27 people were arrested, with two of them facing murder charges. Scores of businesses closed their doors in several neighborhoods in the townships as the chaos spread from White City to Prute Glen, with shops being looted and ransacked by residents over an array of grievances and accusations against those who ran and lived in the shops. Police spokesperson Colonel Lungelode Lamini said calm had been restored to the area by early last night. One of the people who died was shot and the other was stabbed, and there is another one who died in hospital, he was also shot. Police have been deployed to monitor all areas of Soweto. But where the incidences were happening, the situation is calm for now, Lamini said. Several residents who spoke to the citizens said communities were up in arms over allegations that the spaza shops were selling fake goods and food products. They were also aggrieved at what they said was uncompetitive pricing. They sleep and bathe and also smoke in the same room, or space, that they sell their goods. That cannot be safe for buyers who then have to consume the food, one resident said the uproar was apparently sparked by the circulation of several social media messages calling township residents to unite against what is described as a scourge of illegal and unsafe practices by immigrant-owned spaza shops. One of the messages warned Soweto residents who were renting out their garages to foreigner-owned spaza shops to evacuate their tenants ahead of the violence. But some residents in White City told journalists people were acting in retaliation against the alleged shooting of a teenager by a Somalian shopkeeper earlier this week.